when we came out of the forest of Central Providencia and came down onto the apple porous, the, the canopy of the forest was creating a kind of a, a frame around this extraordinary vista. And I saw this beautiful dark river flowing by and I suddenly realized that this was the river of my imagination for so many years, the Rio Apoporos. It's a stunningly beautiful river. It's neither too big nor too small. It flows black and clear and clean through a forest that is emerald in its intensity that rolls away to the horizons. The river itself feels like a serpent ever changing as it moves through. And because the river is dropping so quickly with so little rain, you could see the challenge of moving up and down the river. Rocks are everywhere, just beneath the surface. Sandbars, to the extent that we even just ran straight into one and had to jump out to push our boat back into the water. Always with these rivers, of course, you want to come along the leading edge of the river where the current is, but the temptation is always to take the shortest route, and that's often not the route you want to take, and that's what happened to us today. But to be on that river was sort of like to be on the veins of the earth itself. To finally, after so many years, feel the mist of this sacred waterfall, Hirihirimo, to recall the images, the photographs of Schultes passing his canoe by this cataract, to remember how he described the wonder of the Makuna beliefs. The Makuna say that Hirihirimo is sacred. What does that mean? It doesn't necessarily mean that they worship this waterfall. You and I go to a cathedral, not to worship the building, to be in the presence of God. And when the Makuna come to Hirihimo, that is what they're feeling, the vitality, the vibrancy, the truth, the, the undeniable wonder and power of the natural world, which they give voice to it through the spirit realm, through the power of mythology and cosmologies, through the simple stories and narrations of origin that tell of the creation of the world and the role that people played and with all creatures sharing the same sentient force, that profound realization that they had that plants and animals are only people in another realm of dimension. Mm -hmm.